everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So we've gone past the financial report, everybody's repaired and, and back and ready to go. Um, I've got the drive repairs started, so we should be able to get into additional drop weight very shortly. But as far as today goes, we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to have to run with what we ran with last time, so we had eight units on the ground, which is fine. Um, as far as the mechs go, if we have a quick look at the mech bay... I did a couple of minor um, adjustments to some of the mechs. Um, so the Talos was the big adjustment. We dropped the SRM-6 and put in an MRM and half ton of acid ammo. And I pulled, had to pull out a ton of LK ammo and just put in a regular half ton of ammo for the SRM-4. And that's what we did with this guy. That's all we did on the, uh, the Talos. And then uh, Halopolis, we did a minor change. Um, I pulled out the incendiary uh, 20 pack of uh, boltons and replaced it with the uh, Thunderbolt 2 pack, which I think will probably be better um, bang for the buck on this guy. And then I did, um, I believe I added the recon sensors to this to give it uh, a little bit better sensors. And I think that was it for that one. The Marauder, I dropped in the communication suite that we just picked up, the comp suite plus two which gives us plus three resolve per action, which is nice. Um, and a modifier one to tactics. Now we didn't have anything in here before, which is which is fine. So we managed to drop that in and get that going. I don't think there's anything else we touched. And then I think it was, was it the Jenner? Somebody I was playing around with, wasn't the Jenner. Cephalus? No, I don't think so. It, no, I left everybody else, I think. Yeah. I tried to work on getting the combat shotgun in on um, different mechs. The problem is is that you need two hands free to be able to do it. And nobody could... like I was. I wanted to uh, put it on the Wolverine because he's got two hands and remove this uh, remote sensor missiles. But the problem is, is that um, the Wolverine can't carry it because it's six tons. I'd need to add something that would allow... like a triple stink Myomar or something which would allow him to carry it. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. The only mech currently that could that could carry that was able to carry that that tonnage was the Halopolis, but it doesn't have hands, so it can't actually carry it. Which is kind of lousy because it would be nice to be able to use it on this thing, but it is what it is. So um, that being said, let's just jump straight into a battle. Um, a couple of the pilots had a couple minor skills that went up, a couple tactics and things like that. I'm not going to worry about showing you that, but uh, let's just go to the command center. And I've been looking at the missions that kind of popped up here. There's a bunch of them. I do want to do this four skull mission, which is, seems really interesting. Um, there's like it's a, you're you're helping the um, planetary government. They're on a joint exercise with uh, another group. So there's like I think they've got two lances on the ground, and then the enemy shows up with a whole bunch of firepower, and we're supposed to keep those guys alive. So I, I didn't want to quite do that one just yet. What I want to do is take this uh, three and a half skull mission here. Um, because two lances from the uh, Lyrans jumped on, dropped onto the planet, and uh, Rasselhag wants us to remove them. So that's going to be a straight up battle against two lances, which should be pretty good, I think. Uh, at three and a half skulls, should be like medium heavies and somewhere in there, um, which I think is a good matchup for what we have. So we're going to go ahead and negotiate this, and I'm going to go two nine salvage on this one. Uh, we are very low on funds right now, so if we go two eleven then we'd have to make up with two pieces of random salvage we'd have to make up 300,000 sea bills which I don't think we'll do so um, going 2-9 which means like it's the best way for us to be able to select some good salvage and then whatever we get after that's fine but this way it gives us the most amount of sea bills and still give us the most amount of chosen salvage so that's the reason why I'm going this way and then I think we're ready to go I think everyone's set up and in place and it should just populate there we go and I think we're ready to go let's just check Lance B yep SM1 Puka um, yep so we should be good to go oh yeah Mothman I believe got his um, Warlord I think that happened last episode there was somebody else that picked up Warlord who was it was it Sturm um, Griffith already had his I think it may have been Sturm that picked up Warlord. I gave him the accuracy and uh, bonus to clustering and things like that, rather than the uh, the the jam chance one. So this is probably better for him. But anyway, we're gonna take this and let's go. 
Yeah, I know you say that, but we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Expecting heavy resistance, eh? Well, should have brought a coat. So they got their unit and one support lance. So we knew there was going to be two lances. Looks like they're across the river. And we don't have much opportunity to get into some cover here. I do want to engage them relatively quickly, I think, to find out what we're up against. But at the same time, I don't want to be stuck across a river that we got to travel through. So I'm thinking that we start... Whew, here I guess looks like it's going to afford us some half decent cover down in here and in here And if we need to make a break for it, we can kind of move along this way So I think what's what we'll do is we'll try and drop in Like in the forest here, I guess uh, Let's just make sure we're not having to move off On turn one here Is that everybody? I guess that's everybody. All right. Hopefully we get contacts here right away. We're an eight on eight, so it should be an interesting match. Although we have a few lighter mechs, so. Archer, Hunchback E, okay. What do we got up here? Talos. OD. Okay, looks like there's an older mech over here. All right. Um, Commander? Do we want to go first? I don't think that we do. Uh, we don't have spawn protection though, that's the problem. Um, so let's, yeah, let's just start moving who we can. Hopefully we can spot some more guys, get some chevrons of evasion. So the archer is 16%, 21 on the hunchback, 10 over here. So let's go on the hunchback, just take a pot shot at him. Gonna hold off using the ATGMs until we know what we're up against. Ballistic 3 Energy 4E, I think this is the AC-10 version, but it might, I might be wrong. That's all right. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It will be. Okay, that was a vehicle moving. What can I do for Seems you? like it was a relatively quick vehicle moving. Yeah, let's get up behind the building. Max speed, no shooting. Take a shot at the hunchback. Might as well. Got the Rex, and is the combat shot? It's not in range, is it? It is, but I don't want to waste my ammo at this low percentage chance to hit, but we will fire the lasers. Nothing. All right. That's all right. Ooh, I may need some more time in the simulator. Order. That's all right. We all do. Um, Copy that. Let's get down here. Crank up as much evasion as we can get going here. I'm gonna try and get up here where they can't get a shot at me. Or just scout them out. Nice. Like, just get up into here. Or into here. Another hunchback. Okay. Ten missiles. That's the LRM-5 version, I think. Alright, well... I'm picking up a new sensor tree. Of course you are. All right, now it's 12 against uh, AC5. All right. Now it's 12 against us. All right. Switch that to one for now. Locked on.
Well, at least the uh, Thunderbolt 10 hit. Ah, scouts. I'm not worried about that guy. Oof. Now the OD, is that an Omni version of the Talos? Because if it is, I mean, I know we said we were going to stick with our version of the Talos, but if it's an Omni Talos, then I would like disassemble the one I have to put together the Omni version, but stay with the Talos. Oh fuck, that's the uh... I just realized. I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. Yeah, we Take all are. Coming, Commander. We are all sitting on a fusion I reactor. These guys. Go into full throttle. Alright, we know the guy's gotta go away first. This guy right here. This is the bad guy. Let's get him. Target confirmed. What are we dealing with back here? Maxim hover transport, a bargist. What is that? Is that a four-legged mech? Please tell me that's a four-legged mech. That looks like a lamb over here. Phoenix Hawk lamb, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Cross cut, so not so bad. We should be able to smash through and take the upper ground over here, I think. At least our speedy boys should be able to do that. And then... Yeah, that looks like a four-legged mech. It is, too. Look at that thing. That's crazy. Alright. I wonder if that counts as a mech or a vehicle. Probably a mech. Good to go. Alright, let's get moving. Yep, let's push. Commander. We gotta spread out, we gotta push. As soon as we, um... As soon as we drop this guy. Got it. Nice. Did we get the narc we did? Beautiful. Right here. I think you should probably be traveling along the back here. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get some speed up. It'll take a while to get some speed up once you get moving though. Good luck with that. Probably a vehicle back there. Nope, Crusader. Standing by. All right, buddy. You got the armor. Let's use it. Going to avoid using the PPC cap and the uh, Ultra or the um, Supercharger unless we need it. Copy that. Yes! Fuck you, asshole. Mech destroyed. That's what's good. That's what's that's what's in store for the rest of you fuckers. Does that guy have a rack, or is that like... What has he got? Is that an Omni Archer? Ballistic, so it's probably like a handheld Rotary 2 or something like that. Yes, Commander. Alright, TF. Um, I want this upper ground. I want it, and I, and I want you to give it to me. But we can't get it just yet. Let's stay down here so those guys up there can't see you directly. We'll deal with this Archer on the way up there. A Talos in the high ground has got me worried, though. But we, I want this area, so we want we're going to clear this guy out of here first. Copy that. Okay, soften him up. So we're dealing with two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine that I can see so far, and one that's dead. So ten, eleven. Laugh at your puny attack. It's a tag though, so don't laugh at it. One, two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is, I may, oh yeah, there's a support lance of 50. So there's only 10 of them. Well, sorry, nine of them now. Phoenix Hawk Lamb. Okay. I laugh at your puny attack. Crosscut X5M should die pretty quickly, I think. Really want that Nidhog, don't you? Nidhogg's going to do its own thing, I think. We're going to have it go full speed off to the right. Maybe maybe uh, squash that crosscut real quick. So I don't have to worry about going over there. I want to be able to take this ridge here. Receiving you. Okay, that gives me a solid line. Let's get into here. Get on this guy, and we're going to double up the Ultra. Got the acid ammo on this guy. Actually, that should go to the top. Because we do know that acid splash first um, gets added to the attacks that come afterwards. He's going on 13. When do we... Who's next? Oh, we're on 12 after that, though. Yeah, get down that hill. So that's probably a pirate rotary. I hear you. Either that or he's running those, what are they called? The um, pepper box rifles or whatever they're called. Going turbo. Pirate pepper boxes. All right, we know who we need. We know who we need to target. Combat shotgun on, please. Firing. Tell me what to shoot. Nice. Got past the armor. Commander. Stay in the trees. They're gonna want to target this guy, and I'm okay with that. We got the we got the re uh, damage reduction on this mech, so we're good. I'm gonna throw up this and this because they're probably gonna be coming through that area. So let's hammer them. All right, sensor's not in the best place, but no short-range missiles remaining. Actually, no, I think that's actually a pretty good place. Not for so much for this guy, but um, for anyone else that's coming up behind. Not too bad. Your command. All right, let's get up over. Here. Acknowledge. Okay. Now, go right after this guy. See if we can knock his ass to the ground. I will put the ATGMs up. It's a good attack of opportunity. Nice. Not enough to knock him over, this but... Just in. So this is the old version of the archer. I'm out of LRMs. That's all right, man. You hammered him. That's all that matters. Whole lot of nothing. All right. Well, he's still partially... Um, Unstable. We got two mechs to go here that we can probably um, make him real unstable. Oof, nice shot. Yes, Commander. Wait, are we on 12? We are. Commander? So you first. My fast, stealthy boys are going to go up on the hill in a second, but I want to go with you first because I want to hammer this guy and make him unstable. Affirmative. I want to hammer that guy and kill him. TBMs, eh? Down. Ooh, we might get some HE ammo out of that, and that might be yeah. nice. All right, who's next? Um, here. I think we should probably target... It's a toss-up between the Talos and the Hunchback. 
60%. Well, a lot better on this guy, so we'll take the Hunchback. I think we can actually put the PPC capacitor on with this one. Come on, let's back out. Here we go. So that's supposed to increase the PPC damage. Is it actually doing it? 20% increase. It should give us damage. should be 60 then. Firing on target. Yeah, it said 60 there. Oh, fuck. Did not mean to reserve, but that's fine. Oof. Someone's got lots of weapons. That could be bad. Okay, Crusader. LRM 15. Okay, good hits. Props to you. I want this hill, though. Right here. I still want this hill. Alright, we're finally getting some speed going here. Let's get down into here. Copy. That should put us up on the hill next turn. I'm trying to get stay away from the trees because we get bagged when we're trying to go through trees. We're not going to bother firing there. We may hit on a very remote chance, but all we're doing is adding recoil. I don't want that. Standing by. Okay, let's get up here. Away. Double time. Okay. 27 with the Goss. Let's leave this off for now. What about on this guy? 35. Let's go actually go after... Let's go after the Hunchback. See what we can get off this. We might get lucky. Nope. That didn't hit? Nope, it did not. Yeah, that's fine though. Can't have every match be a good match. As long as when when it really, really counts, you land that shot. That's all that matters. Okay, both these guys are gonna go up here, probably wipe out this crosscut first. Or, if we get a chance to backstab the Phoenix Hawk Lamb, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, these pilots gotta be so brave. Driving, piloting straight into the enemy with a medium laser. Minimal damage on that hit. Okay. Commander. I mean, there's that. Uh, yeah, because that guy's going on 17. Let's just mess them up. I think we dump it all into them. Copy that. That's a pretty nice strike. I'll take that. No short range missiles remaining. See what he does. Hope he panics. Wait, when are else? You got 12. So go on the Nidhogg, eh? Sure. It's the lamb I'm more worried about at the moment. What can I do for Okay, Griff. Can't shoot the hunchback from there. Hmm. Pedal to the metal. I still think you need to get up on the hill though. We get we take this hill, it's gonna stop most of these guys from being able to melee us. Alright, we're gonna fire this. We might well the hunchback's down below the hill. I was gonna say we might miss and hit the hunchback, but whatever. 
stand still while I'm attacking you. We'll get some backstrikes soon enough. I think I'm liking the way that the lambs were used in the past. Where, um... Ooh, Jesus, that's tandems. My internals are taking a beating. It's those burritos you had for breakfast. Um... I like the old way that the lambs were used where they just had the massive jump. Because you could either run an okay amount or jump a, far, a fair distance. Right now, the way that they are, where you're, you can kind of go into jet mode and hover, it's kind of okay and it kind of makes sense, but the AI doesn't really use it to any... I see it's charging. Like doesn't, they don't use the um, lambs to their fullest extent. So it's like... It almost Nothing. defeats the purpose of having a lamb, you know? Well, oh, guy decided to commit suicide, so we'll take advantage of that. Yeah, it's just it's just frustrating that they don't... Um... Yeah, anyway. I mean, I guess it was a little too OP before, where you could jump halfway across the map board and attack someone from behind and then just jump away. So I kind of get it. Standing by. But it just felt better to me, you know? Gonna move okay. into the trees here. And we'll fuck this guy up. Engage the target. Aye, aye. Alright, let's get you... Heading this way as well. Like so. Confirmed. And on the same target. And leaving these off. Firing. Copy that. It wastes the mech every fucking time. Just think of how expensive that lamb was. Just to be wasted like that. I'll run over and charge into this guy. Oh, now my mech's gone. Like, I understand it from a, a like, you know, a um, tactics point of view, maybe like that, that's his best option. But from a gameplay standpoint, it's they're just sacrificing mechs. So it's like, it's almost not even worth letting the enemy do that. Yeah, they can knock you down. Okay, so what? There's a rare chance they might get a kill on you. If I had a, I've had a couple backstabs like that that, that have basically killed my mech. But it's very, very rare now. Here we go. Critical hit. Okay, guy's taking massive amounts of punishment. Going after the Marauder, probably. Nope. Nidhogg still. Damage is minor, Commander. Really want that Nidhogg. You really want it bad, don't you? Yes, Commander. Ooh, I don't know if we can get up there. Because I think we're a hover unit, we don't have the ability to climb that kind of incline. So if we can't climb the incline, we're going to have to fight here. Take a pot shot? Roger that. I think we may have to retreat next turn, like just back up. Twenty-one, not bad. We've we've hit with worse odds. So he's got an ATM six and a rotary two pirate. It's actually not a bad loadout. OD though, I don't think it's I don't think that's an omni. It it might be an omni. Bolt on rocket twenties times three. I'm interested to see what that loadout is. One hit, nice. Torso. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look 
Good thing you're a heavy mech. Commander. So that's the left side. Yeah, we're still doing okay, kind of. Move order received. Now, do we want to go after the big dog, or do we want to go after this guy? This guy. Talos it is. Hammer him. Excellent. All right, who's up? I'm receiving you. Monsieur Mothman Prophecy. This will keep the crosscut looking at me. Can fire at this guy. Get the ATGM rack going. That's a pretty good chance to hit, so let's use it. Nice. Take that. I'm out of long range missiles. It's alright. Yes, Commander. You have accomplished what you needed to. Okay, move into here. The big dog can't see me, which is fine. Just outside the range for the MRM, but that's okay. Wish we had more longer range mechs to shoot at that guy with. Affirmative. Okay, stay behind the hill here. Those guys can't get a shot at me, and we'll just grind up this guy here real quick. And... Mm, we don't need the tandems, but we'll fire everything. Fire everything else. There we go. That's a kill. Sit down, boy. Awaiting orders. Okay, get over here. So these two mechs should be able to make it up on the hill the next turn. Interested to see how far that guy gets in his turn, though. Gonna put some sensors over there. Taking the shot. Oof, only one laser hit. All right, that's fine. Commander. All right, Griff. How you feeling? You all right? Looks like yeah. I just don't give anybody your back. Move to here. Got it. Drop the stability problems. Just fire at this guy. Uh, I'm gonna put the rock. Well, I don't think we're gonna get this instability on this shot unless we get lucky with the uh, combat shotgun. Roger that. Not really. Not really. You're going to go before Sturm, right? Yeah, you go on 14. The big dog doesn't, though, so we should be able to move out of here, at least. Get a shot at this guy. And I don't know if he's going to have enough juice to get down here to be able to take a shot at us. He might. I don't know how fast that thing is. I don't even know. Like, I've never seen, I even heard of this mech before. So I'm not exactly sure where it showed up. Like, I knew there were a quad mechs, like, four... I had four legs. And, um, they were kind of interesting, some of them. But I've never, I've never seen this guy. The Bargast. Improved heavy gas rifle. Fuck, that guy can't land that shot. He's 70 tons. Oof. Yes, Commander. Alright, TF. Uh, we gotta kill this guy. Hmm... He's technically a melee mech, so let's not get too close to him. I know they're not that fast, so... He's got a chainsaw in his arm, on his right arm, I think it is. Right or left arm? Right arm. This side. Yeah, so if we can take that arm off... That will definitely help. Okay, what are we at? 17? 
Is that the crosscut? It is. Man, we went fast this turn. Mm-hmm. Oof. Reporting. Structural damage. Yeah, I think he's got a mortar. Standing by. Well, maybe he doesn't have a mortar, but something that could be just as bad. Let's get into here. Let's pull into here. I'm tempted to not shoot with the uh, Ultra. So we can go after this guy the next the following turn. But this guy's a pretty juicy target. 21% though. Like, let's just drop our recoil. And just fire our machine guns on this guy. Because that other guy's got a thousand armor, so... Alright. That's not good. I don't know how far this guy can move. Playing the LRM game is probably a good thing. Okay, what are you doing? Who's up? Maxim? Yep. See ya. Come back next week. I'm here. Okay, get in the trees. Copy that. Get a little protection from that uh, big dog. We're gonna shoot this guy again, though. And yeah, we'll fire it all. Engaging. Target. Excellent. Another hit to him. Structure is exposed. We should be able to drop that guy. I think next turn. Ooh, Vargas is like... I wonder if that heavy Goss has got like a minimum range. Mm, if we're going to do a back strike, let's do it from here so he can't get behind me. That's pretty good. And firing it all. Okay, there goes the right arm with the uh, weapon on it. Reporting critical hit. The melee weapon. I'm your spaniel. Okay, let's get into here. I'm gonna fire in the Talos. But we want to have the option to be able to come down behind that that uh, big dog here. Keep calling it the big dog. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those four-legged robots. Locking on. It's called big right. dog. It kind of it kind of bounces on all fours. They're pretty cool. They they they're actually really well tested now. So. Standing by. Okay, let's get up here. On the move. Get up here and keep applying damage to this Talos. So, it's, in my mind, it's going to be the Talos, the Crusader, and then the big dog. Firing on target. Excuse me. All right. Um, Good to go. Granite, same idea. Get up here. Double time. Let's go. Let's hopefully. Drop our recoil chance for um, jamming here on our Ultra 5 and hammer this guy. Copy that. Nice. Solid connection on that one. Prototype double heat sinks. It could be an Omni Mech. Ooh, that would be juicy. That's like an amazing upgrade for our Talos. Although it just means a rebuild, which means we need a lot of C builds again, right? Because I think we got a Clan XL in the one that we have now. 
So I don't know if it's actually going to be any better than what we have. Oh, why are you backing up? You afraid of the Ultra 20? Is that what you're afraid of? I don't blame you. I'd be shitting my pants. Waiting for orders. All right, Griff. Affirmative. And straight on this guy. Let's get our rockets going too. Firing. All weapons are go. There's the knockdown. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Nope, there's not the knockdown. Oh, you reached the edge of the map, did you? Just gonna keep cruising along the edge. He's trying to get away. He's trying. Good to go. Can we get to his side? We can. Pretty good. Double Taking high. it. All right, get you on there, get you on there, and hammer him. Ooh, that was a lot of misses. That's a critical hit. I'm really hoping he doesn't shoot for the griffin. All right, whole lot of nothing. Okay, who's up? Yes, Commander. I want to go right into the face of this guy, but I know it's a big mistake. Just pull back here for now. We'll wait to see what they do. We can dart in next turn. Let's go here and see if that guy will come out. See if Big Dog will come out to play. Still gonna fire on this guy though. And here it comes. Let's warlord this. I keep forgetting, now that it's not down here, I keep forgetting to use it. I shouldn't be, but I, I, I am a fair bit. Yes, a couple hits. Beautiful. That hit something good. He's being punished. Okay. Didn't think he was going to be able to do that, but... You know what Thought did, right? Thought he farted, but he shit himself. We need to get stealth armor on this griffin. Combat shotgun, stealth armor. Uh huh. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Why is your arm still there? I don't think it's a mortar, I think it's a grenade launcher. Who's first? This guy's going on 19. 24. 21. Oh, the Oscout. So we've got a chance to go before him. Hopefully we can just finish that guy up this turn. Man, I gotta say... Oh, these last three episodes, I recorded them all day long. And uh, just before I started recording them, I, had, I was out helping a neighbor get his car unstuck from his driveway. What had happened was... 
We had a massive snow a couple weeks ago, and some people had, um, you know, some of their driveways haven't like weren't fully cleared out. And I didn't realize this guy. He's an older guy. He lives like across the street, down like three or four houses. And I, I didn't realize he hadn't cleaned out his back where his car, where he normally parks his car. And I guess over time, it like the snow had melted. But I guess he figured it had melted enough. Firing. He tried to get into his backyard and. He has his driveway goes between his house and his neighbor's house. Yeah. Anyways, he got stuck like two thirds of the way down the driveway. He couldn't move the car, and then uh, he couldn't get out because the, the alley, like the alleyway between his house and the neighbor's house, is so narrow that he couldn't open his door. So he's like crying for help, asking somebody. My kid heard them, so like we went over to help him out this afternoon, get a, get his car moved, and like I'm completely out of shape. Both my kids are there trying to shovel the driveway out. Anyway, another neighbor saw us and was able to come out and help and just like a younger guy, way stronger than me, able to lift the front of the car up and help him get get out. But it was like, oh man, I couldn't even do it. I just feel like crap. These last three episodes, I don't know if you've realized how like down my energy has been. It's just, I've just been so tired. Spent so much effort trying to get that Kai's car out. It's tough because it's like, you know, when there's, the snow is so deep, but it's like relatively hard snow, and you've got a low Awaiting riding vehicle, what ends up happening is you get caught on top of the on snow, the and like, so you're trying to push the car through the snow, and if you don't have really good tires, it just doesn't happen, and you just get stuck, and then you start spinning your tires, and you know. Anyway, he ended up being stuck. That day of the snowstorm, I tried to actually get out, and I was able to get my car out of my parking spot. I actually got a photo of it. I should really, I should post it one time, one of these days. But it was like my car is completely buried in, right? I was able to get out of my parking space, no problem. But then, as soon as I went to get onto the onto the street, I got my front tires in, and just as I'm bringing, I'm trying to bring my back tires in, the car just stops completely, and I just got stuck on a snowdrift. Waiting for orders. Anyway, it's kind of painful to try and get that thing, um, to try and get my car uh, sorted away. But I finally got a, I was able to back up and get back into my parking spot. It took me like 20 minutes to do it. But I had to dig under the car and get the snow out and all that stuff, right? So I can only imagine what this guy was feeling. He's an older guy too, like, an, you know, he's at least like 15 years older than me. So I, I could just imagine, if, you know, if he had to actually try and get out of his car and then push, um, try and push the car out like I had to. It was just like a real nightmare. But I was glad that we were we could be there to help him, you know? I'm glad my kid heard him because I couldn't imagine him being stuck there for like hours, like just hoping someone would pass by and hear him, you know? It's kind of lousy. Ooh, we missed with the 20s, okay. But we hit him in the head, so that's good. Hit him in the head with the machine guns. Good to go. Fucking crosscut's still going, isn't it? He's going on 19. Oh, he's already gone. Got to turn sideways to make sure he can't see us. I'm worried about this big dog being able to see me, though. Now that I've already moved. Okay, Crusader shouldn't be too, too bad to kill, I don't think. Ah, shit. Still going after the Nidhogg, okay. She's not hitting, which is good. I'm glad that guy's been so inaccurate. But I hate the fact that I've had to use so many mechs to kill this crosscut. So many mech turns, that is. It's like, what, six mech turns now to try and kill this guy? Uh, leave that off. Let's just use that. Let's use it all. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Mechs destroyed. Finally. Oh, short range missiles, Commander. Okay, get up on the hill. Location I wonder if we should just kill this Oscar. That's not too bad. It's the same as the other guy, so we might as well take this shot. Um, yeah, let's just fire it. 
Hopefully we can chase them off. Let's hope he backs off now. 23, he go oh, he doesn't go. Yeah, that's 22. Maxim goes on 23, I guess? I have to say, I'm glad we, tried we decided to take the hill that we're on now rather than this hill. I thought about this hill. But I'm glad it was this one because we can got lots of cover here from this guy. If we'd gone up there, he'd have been able to see any of us that tried to shoot down. And they wouldn't have been able to get up here, so it would have just been us staring down into that valley, trying to kill them. Mmm, we can get on that big dog now if we want to. Thousand armor, though. Let's wait till some of these guys are dead. Confirm. He's probably going to climb that hill, though. Like he's... Well, I don't know if he can. He may not be able to get up here. Yeah, it's this guy. It's this guy anyway. He's got to go, so we got to get rid of this guy. Running low on ammo, though. Firing on target. Okay, the AC's hit. That's nice. Yes, Commander. Ah, oh, man. I just have to worry about now where I go. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Shouldn't shoot at me either because I've got so much uh, evasion and stealth. Tag only, huh? Sure. We can drop some heat. Engaging. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I live to serve. Oh shit, he can see us there. Um uh, can't see us oop. I gotta go a little farther than that, huh? Right there. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess we could technically all crest the hill next turn and try to kill that big dog, but I think we should probably make sure this crusader is down first. May I interest you in some melting armor? That um, oh, Maxim is not such a big deal, but Yeah. We'll bring you forward into here probably and we might be able to all just kind of get up on this hill and hammer this guy hard next turn okay he's gonna run and well you should okay yes commander I should move a little bit here that's not too bad not the best, but not too bad. Hopefully we don't... Oh, shit, we're really close to the griffin. I can't shoot now. Shit. The griffin's back is completely open. One wrong... Like, one miss, and it's like he's dead, right? So... Alright, firing on this guy. Okay, one of the largest hit. Or one of the lasers hit. Nice. Okay, um... We stay low, or how far can we get up here? That's actually pretty good. Roger. Depending, it might put us in strike distance of the big dog. We're jammed with the ultra, it's fine. Nice. Enjoy it, baby. Standing by. Oh, that's the back of the big boy. Four chevrons? Is that going to be enough, you think? May well be. Twenty four percent. Thirty five on this guy. Forty two. I think it's got to be this guy. Here we go. 
one hit, but it wasn't on the Crusader. Maxim side hit. Hmm. Decided to shoot at me, did you? Probably a good idea. Damage looks light, Commander. Yeah, we hit the maximum in the side. Ooh, everyone's taking the target of opportunity, eh? Okay. Not very nice of you guys. I'm glad I uh, used vigilance on that one. Alright, Merm. Get up here. Okay. Yes, Commander. I'll see you motherfuckers later. Copy. See you guys later. Drop our recoil. Come back next turn. Okay, Maxim's going next. I may try to kill him. See where this Crusader goes, I think. Oh, he's taking off. Didn't like getting hit by the AC-20, and I don't blame him. Oh, I gotta decide now. Do we all go after this big dog and try and kill him in one shot? He's got a thousand armor. It's not that bad, though. I mean... I don't know when he goes, though. Orders? Heavy Goss has got a minimum range, doesn't it? We're still pretty damn good here. Heavy Goss has got a minimum range, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, Sixty-one. He's going on fifteen. Wait, when does everybody else go? So... You're thirteen, I don't think we can push him back to that. Fourteen. Maybe? Come on. Um, biggest chance to hit will be CT, so if we hit, we'll do a CT hit. Engaging. Nah, well. How much should we push him back? One or two? Oh, enough for everybody to jump on him. Okay, 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 we're gonna do it. Everyone's gonna try and murder this guy. I may even bring Puka back for this one. Although, she doesn't have much armor, armor left, so maybe not. Maybe we just murder this Oscout. Who, surprisingly, has lasted a fair amount of time in this battle? Just that we've had bigger fish to worry about. Okay. Getting close, get some jamming going. Okay. See if we can get the tag on. Fire it all. Fuck, only one hit. Really? 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 Okay, everything on this guy. Sensors, everything. Let's hope we hit. Affirmative. Okay, good hits, good hits. Tags on. Sensors on. Good to go. Okay, Griff. Pilot consciousness threshold one of three. 
Get up here. I mean, at least we have the height advantage. That'll help a little bit. All it's going to take is for him to hit one of our guys with that thing, and it's going to just blow up so much shit. Um, firing. Yeah, we're not, we're not... We're not doing a lot of damage to this guy. Ready for orders. And we can't see him. I thought we would be able to... Oh, we can there. Do I give that to the Marauder, though? I'm going to give that to the Marauder, my way. and I'm going to use the Talos against the uh, Crusader. I mean, I could try and just drop a uh, Thunderbolt on him, but there's, at this point, it's better just to try and hammer this guy. Controlled bursts. Confirm. Keep me from jamming. Hammer him. Target. Confirm. Okay, good news. Crusader's up, it looks like. Oh, we still got this guy too. Okay. Alright, not very much there. Alright, um. Good to go. Okay, we can get our chaff countermeasures on this guy too. Make it even harder for him to hit. Get the narc on, we can even get a bigger bonus next turn. Firing. Right, Commander. Okay, a few hits. Chaff's on. Orders. Okay, you gotta go supercharger. Oh, you bastard. Fuck, really? Really? Why? It's like right... The, the point where I need it the most, it just fails. And you wonder why I don't use stuff that has a fail chance. That's the reason why. It just... It, I, when If it fails at the worst possible time, it's like it just you just get screwed. I mean, we couldn't have killed this guy anyway, but maybe we could have like blown through his torso or his leg or something like that. Yeah, we're with inside is like minimum range. I think he's going to have a hard time hitting us. He's probably got like a 6 or 8% chance to hit. Commander. But still, it's like Yeah, see he's trying to get over there. He switched his sides to us too. But he's giving us his back, so we're going to take that. it. Going to take the back side and probably has half decent armor in the back too. No, he doesn't. Cool. Got the angle. Taking the shot. That should be the end of him Out for of this SRM. this uh, battle, I think. Orders. Should be able to finish this guy up. Don't know what that Maxim's got on it, but we'll get around here. If this guy goes down, the Maxim might not come back this turn. He may just decide, fuck it, I'm not going back there. Locking on. Damn it. Aye, aye. All right, who do we want? Let's get into here. Coordinates. Now, he hasn't taken much damage on this side. So, do we just go after this guy, I think? Probably. Because there's a chance we can get a kill on here. He's, he had two LRM-15s, eh? All weapons. Good damage. Critical hit, Commander. 
I think I might, after this battle, I think I might take that uh, PPC capacitor off as well. Supercharger, I think, is gone now. Rolling. I just don't, I, I don't like that uh, randomness to it. All right, I know I've said this in the past, but I should be able to fire over my guy here. Firing on rear arc. Oh, for fuck's sakes! It's just the Gauss rifle. Why is it? Ah, oh, man. Those as the tougher the matches get, and the higher my percentages go for those tough matches, the worse the chance I have to hit. I don't understand. Hitting all those low percentage shots a couple of episodes ago, and now I can't hit a goddamn side of a barn. Oh. Light damage. Holding firm. You hold firm. Waiting for orders. On my way. Do I go after this guy? I think I better. Engage. Okay, it makes him unstable. That was 22. Oh shit, he's going now. Well, sorry, it's the Maxim first and then it's him. Right? We're on 18 right after that. Okay. Shit. I should have used an offensive push on him. Fuck, tag's on. Big dog's gonna take a shot at him. You know he is. Big dog's gonna take a shot at him. It's nice seeing Max like this. He's really not hitting any goddamn thing, that guy. Okay, Griff. Waiting for orders. On my way. I'm glad he's still shooting for the Nidhog. Let's see if we can get the kill here. Could be the leg hit. Could be the leg. Nope, not the leg. Critical hit, Commander. Guy's stressed. Do you think he's? Do you think he's a little stressed? Standing by. I'll try. We're bringing it back. Vigilance. We can get the hell out of here next turn. See if we can squash this guy. Get him out of the battlefield because he hasn't gone yet. So. Affirm. Oh, there's the leg. Hit, Commander. Panic, knockdown, injury, bleeding out. Waiting for orders. Moving Get on, ahead. big dog. Come on, boy. Let's go. Get him. Yeehaw! Here it comes. Knock launchers on, beautiful. All out of SRM, Commander. That's all right. Shock, this guy's still going though. This guy's taking a pounding. Let's see what he's up to. I think I think his missiles are out of out of. Um, I think he's out of um, LRMs. I don't think Crusaders carry that much LRM ammo though. Speaking of ammo, I think we're just about done with our ammo. Question now, do we go in after... How far can we get? Not very far. And we're jammed. Let's not risk it. One turn to shooting, we got jammed. Well... It's always in the clinch. When you need it the most, that shit happens. That's why I try and... I, I've said it over and over again. I try and make sure that that shit never happens. Because if you can ensure, like, 
via game means that you never have to worry about shit like that happening, then there, there won't be any of those clinch moments that you just fucking lose because of a 10% chance for something to jam or like break, like that mask. We had a great chance to shoot that guy in the side and just... <laughs> the supercharger just fucking dies on us. It's like, okay. All those times that I ran it before, it wasn't important. Now it's important and it blows up on me. It's like, okay. Let's see how this works now. Oh, you can climb that hill, can you? Thanks for the suicide. Appreciate it. Pew! Right. Holding. Commander. Uh, where's the back of this guy? We're already there. Sup? What's up, big dog? I got something for you. Roger, Commander. Angle is good. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, improved heavy goss crit. Commander? How far can you get? Let's get down the hill. Double time. Keep applying pressure to this guy. Don't know what that Maxim's doing, but he's doing his own thing, I think. All right, firing. Firing on target. Critical hit, Commander. Yep. Okay, he's unsteady. What's up, big doggy? You know what I got for you? You know what I got for you? I got a whole lot of instability for you. Here it comes. I copy. Critical hit, Commander. Come on, bail out. Panic level critical. And he's done. That's it for him. Yes, Commander. Or is it? No, he's still there. Thought that was it. Thought maybe he'd call it quits. Maybe he'll call it quits after this. Let's see what we got here. Okay, do I want to? Oh man, the improved heavy goss would be nice. Where is it located though? So he's got ammo in the CT. It's right there. Um, how much did you have left in the air? leg? 57? We gotta go for it. Confirmed. Sure. As long as we didn't get that torso, it should, Target, should still be run. there. Although I think we may have destroyed all the ammo. Which will suck. Ready for orders. Hey, you want to play the back game? I can play the back game. That works. Really low chance to hit, but I don't really care. I got two medium lasers to your one. I'm here. Are ya? Moving to position. Let's shoot this crusader. This Maxim back over here has just been completely useless this whole match. Target. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you and this fucking Goss rifle. How, how big of a chance do you need to fucking hit this? Good to go. Fuck's sakes. Just shoot him. Right, Commander. All right. Fire it all on this guy. Hopefully we get a kill here. I don't really care if we just completely obliterate him, but... Right, Commander. Come on, bail out. Critical hit, Commander. Bail out. Bail out. Nope. Alright. I guess we try for a legging on this guy. He's still gonna fight. Yes, Commander. Okay, so what leg is gone? The one that's facing away from us. 
Let's get into here. Should be able to just clear this up with a quick OP here to the leg. Should be able to do that. There we go. You did. So the Oscar's going now. Let's see if he wants to play the black, the back game some more. He's close, so I mean, at least he's got the ability to negate my weapons. No, nope, he's gonna run away, and then get murdered from behind. I think I'm gonna give Puka the chance to uh, wipe him out if his her for ultra is uh, back up and running again. Okay, this maximum. Maximum. Maxim. Can I get a shot at him? Probably not. Can I lob a uh, uh, thunderbolt at him? I can. 20%. Got the angle. A pair of Taking ER mediums shot. in a streak six, and he hasn't been doing anything? That's like 110 damage. If that thing was like darting in around getting behind us at 110 damage, that would just be insane. He's got an okay speed. Commander? Uh go chase his ass down, will you? Affirmative. I don't know if he's coming back, so we might as well go after him. I can't send the Griffin though, because the guy decides to do a back strike, the Griffin could just die. Yes, Commander. Can't have that. Heading out. Hold Might me. be able to kill him with this guy though. You can't go anywhere, buddy. I don't know what you're trying to do. I wonder if the AI sees it as a um Rear armor it is. There we go. Nice. If the AI, AI sees the vehicles moving away like this as a way to distract fire. Because I notice the AI chooses to attack vehicles Awaiting orders. Um, a fair bit. So I'm wondering keeping if it sees their vehicles as being in danger. So it tries to keep them back or uses them as decoys at range to try and get me to shoot at them. Yes, Commander. Said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do it. I really hope she gets a back strike on this. Just one. Just land one of the 20s. Yeah. Critical hit, Commander. You tried. Receiving you. Yeah, the other thing I noticed too, now that I saw the jet, the uh, jump jet get hit, is the um, a lot of the jump capable mechs don't seem to jump a whole lot. You know, the, before they used to jump, there used to be a fair bit of jumping. I hit something good. Now it just doesn't it's seem that they jump all that often. Depleted. Oh, he's gonna get one final shot in. Watch, he's going to go after the, uh, the SM-1. Either that or backstrike on the Marauder. That's what I'm calling. But we'll see. He could go anywhere. He's... It's got to be the worst thing, being in a valley by yourself. Uh, all your comrades are gone and you've, all you've got is a light mech and a medium laser. Just knowing that you can't win. It's gotta be brutal. Alright, let's follow it up with another Gauss Rifle Strike to the back. And this sucker go home. What's your chance? 48, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Behind you. Oh, for what? This game is rigged. Uh, who's where? Orders. Don't really want any of this mech's parts, so let's just uh, 
shred him if I can. Shred him. Firing on All right. And we got standing by. You side strike so we hopefully don't shoot our own guy. Man, nobody wants to shoot the Wolverine, you notice that? It's just... I think it's because it's so hard to kill, they just decide that it's like not worth shooting at. Reporting critical hit. There we go. There it is, folks. Successful. Well, that mission took a lot longer than I wanted it to. But 750 grand payout is really nice for us. Griffin was the one that took the most amount of damage from the back strikes, but... There's no components damage, which is really, really good for us. Um, anything else? I think that's it. Marauder took a bit of damage. Supercharger. And that was just because of us, but we took a lot of armor damage. So it'll be in repair shop for a little bit. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to drop the... Uh, well, I have to drop the supercharger because it's gone now. So I'll figure out what I'm going to replace it with. We do have a missile slot, but the, the problem is, is we have no space left in the Marauder at all. There's zero space available. Okay, so as far as mech parts go, we're going to leave... Well, OD. So this is an Omni. Can be repaired by any spare parts of any Talos. So, but my... Here's the thing, though. As nice as it might be, it's not going to be as good as our mech. And the reason being is this Omni will probably have a built-in XL engine, whereas our, our Talos has a Clan XL. Meaning if we destroy, this thing gets one side destroyed, it's gone. As opposed to the one I have now where you have to destroy both torsos for it to go down. So I don't think this is really an upgrade. Um, what do we have down here? Improved heavy Gauss rifle. 20 tons. Recoil of 2. Range 720. 0.35 recoil exponent. Let's drop that in. Light AC, a light AC 2. Damage 20, I guess. 4 tons. Shorter range, it looks like. Evasion pipped, pips ignored and jam chance. Okay, interesting. Five less damage. Streak six. Thunderbolt ten, which we got. Hot seat cockpit, not bad. 280 core, we have fire control system AC2. Is this just straight up AC2 or is this ultra twos as well? My guess is it's just AC2s. That's kind of cool though, like, I guess if you had like, if you had light AC2s, if you had six of them, three on each arm, that's 120 damage, plus two accuracy, plus the accuracy for the arms, minus two recoil, and less heat, that wouldn't be too bad of a mech for long range firepower. Pirate fire control system, another double heat sink. Prototype double heatsink. I'm tempted to take that, but we'll see what else is down here real quick. Structure, not a lot. So I think it's, there's no improved heavy goss ammo, but that doesn't mean we won't find any in the future. So I can't not take the improved heavy goss. It is so rare to see this, for me anyway, that um, I think if we don't take it, it'll be a huge mistake. So I think we go with that. I mean, there's not that much here. Like that I want anyway. ER mediums, meh. This is, if we get these as parts, great. If we don't get them, we don't get them. So yeah, it's a, it's an Omni with 14 hard points. So I mean, we'd gain a benefit is in that we can put anything on it that we want. But then we lose out because like I said, if we lose the side, we lose the mech. And that could happen at any time. So like, I mean, if that uh, if that big dot 
big dog had gotten a piece of one of us with that improved heavy goss, it could have been really bad. A any mech except for um, the Marauder would have had a bad time. Well, maybe not the Wolverine, but every other mech would have had a bad time. But even then, I mean, the Wolverine, the armor only negates 10% damage, so it, it would have been, you know, 117, not 130. So it really isn't that much re reduction. But still, anyway, we'll take these. Okay, we did get a Talos part, not bad. Uh, 10 medium lasers. I don't think we need 10 medium lasers, so we can get rid of that. The Streak 6, I'm not using Streaks. Industrial TSM, excellent. Now we can find a place for this in the combat shotgun, which will be nice. Reinforced structure. I generally don't use reinforced structure. Increases weight on the mech. So let's drop that. The bombs we don't need. AC2 ammo we don't need. But I'm going to hold on to it just in case I pick up an AC2 or want to do an AC2 build, we'll have it. But um, yeah, I mean, we didn't get very good in the draw, but we didn't have any, very much selection. All right, well, 124,000. Yeah, I mean, sure. We made some OKC builds too, so we should be able to pull off one more mission before the end of the month. Marauder up first. Oof, yeah, that's going to be like 10 days, 12 days in total. I mean, what are we... I mean, we're still like not even halfway through the month yet, right? Yeah, we got lots of time. Maybe able to pull off too. I mean, if we can take a lighter one, maybe next episode... Like, I, um, let's see here. I know there's a base defense I think we could take first. And then at the end of the month, we take this one. Because this should give us our financial report. Plus some half-decent salvage. And then this one would be a nice battle to finish off the month with. Going against Lyran Commonwealth. And it's a nice to see. Like, this is something I haven't done before. This kind of battle. Where it's, um, so the, uh, planetary governments in a joint operation with their allies um, expecting trouble you're going to provide some additional firepower to ensure that both our lance and our allied lance complete the patrol and evac intact we're expecting major enemy resistance so let's plan for a heavy drop so that should be interesting I'm interested to see how that works so it's almost like an escort mission in a way but I guess the uh, our allies are you know being operated uh, independently so that should be uh, I think an interesting one but maybe we do this one next or this one uh, yeah just a straight up battle against the um, Laren Commonwealth although these kind of missions here we get way more salvage we get better choices out of this but I don't know the battle will be quicker though Maybe we do a battle, and then we do this one here, which I think will probably be a half-decent length. But that'll be... I mean, yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm going to make some... Uh, I don't think I'll make any adjustments to the max. We'll just get everything repaired, except for the Marauder, which has to have the Supercharger dropped. I might just pull it out. I don't know if I'll be able to replace it with anything in time. It's one ton. Maybe I just drop a C3 unit in it or something like that for now. But we'll figure it out. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.